Indie Mogul. This episode of Indie Mogul is brought to you by Friday the 13th, now playing. I know the economy's bad right now, and this movie is funded and produced in Germany, where they love to hate capitalism. But seriously, an evil bank? I laughed and laughed when I saw this trailer, until I did a little investigating of my own. Turns out this movie is inspired by two real-life scandals. The first is international trade organization Permindex. Founded in 1958, Permindex has actually been linked to several assassination attempts, including one on French President Charles de Gaulle in 1962 and, get this, JFK. The Italian press even accused Permindex of being a front for the CIA, and the Italian government kicked Permindex out of the country. The second scandal is BCCI, the Bank of Credit and Commerce International. Founded in Pakistan in 1972, a 1991 investigation revealed that BCCI was involved in money laundering, bribery, supporting terrorists, and more. Maybe I'll just keep my money under my mattress. But while that's all fascinating, it doesn't necessarily mean the movie is any good. But with Run Lola Run director Tom Tykwer at the helm and an action sequence shot in a life-size replica of the Guggenheim Museum, this movie might be worth seeing after all. Now, I like Clive Owen. He's a cool guy. But for some reason, despite being in a lot of well-known movies, he's still not an A-list movie star. It must be driving his agent crazy. Why do you think Clive Owen can't quite make the grade? And what's your favorite Clive Owen movie? I'll tell you mine after the break. Friday, February 13th. The exact same thing, but completely different. You're watching Indie Mogul. My favorite Clive Owen movie is Children of Men, which is a surprisingly good sci-fi movie. But while thinking about Clive Owen's body of work, I'd say his problem is that he has yet to star in an instant classic. Will the international be the instant classic he needs? I don't think so, but let's go ask anyway. Do you really believe in evil banks? Um, not to the extent that they said in the movie, but I definitely do think there, you know, is some questionable activity that takes place uh, at banks. On this kind of international level about weapons and stuff, I think as the guy said at the end, I think that goes on in every, I think that stuff is really going on. Well, we, I mean, does this movie telling the truth? I don't know. I thought it was an extremely interesting topic. I thought the acting was pretty, pretty good. I like some of the performances. I always like Clive Owen and, um, Brendan Byrne was fantastic as the assassin, because I know him from theater. The ending, I, I thought they could could have changed the ending a little bit. The ending kind of ended a little abruptly without, you know, I had some things I wanted answered. What'd you think of the movie? I didn't really like it. Uh, what was wrong with it? It started off good, and then it just got, I don't know, I didn't like it. They have a great shootout in the Guggenheim, right? Was that yeah. cool? Yeah, the, the shootout was, was really good. It was a great action. Um, but it was, I think it was more, that was like really the only action part. The Guggenheim thing I didn't believe at all. I kept thinking like, how did they film it and... It's a replica. It's a rep. it must be. <laughs> <laughs> I kept thinking, all those bullet holes, someone had to go. Yeah. Overall, I thought, I, I thought it was definitely a very good movie, I recommend it. I think it's a rental. What do you give it on a one to ten? I would give it seven and a half. I'd give it a four. Yeah, not an instant classic, but still solid with an overall rating of six. I guess Clive Owen will just have to hope that the upcoming duplicity will be that instant classic he so desperately needs. Hey, are you on Facebook? If so, friend me. You'll get updates on the latest episodes, movie trailers, and entertainment news. I'm Grace Randolph, and you've just gone Beyond the Trailer. <laughs>